Hey, you! Hey! Show me your wares. May Inos watch over you always. Show me your wares. Certainly, brother of the ring. Nothing, Nothing there. Planned. Another one of those things. 
one less monster around. What crappy weather. Wait a minute. Everything going well? Sure. Everything's quiet. Wait a minute. You need help. Leave me alone, magician. I can manage. I found you the mercenary you wanted. I've never seen anyone like that on my farm. I can only hope it'll work out. Here, take this. I think you'll find it useful. Malik is back. It's about time. I thought I'd never see him again. Nothing to be had there.
Nothing there. Hey. About the missing ornaments. Yes? I found them. Oh, that's terrific. Now I have them all. Now all we have to do is put them together. We will have to use our combined powers to fit the piece back into a ring. Here, I can give you some gold coins for your trouble. Follow me. I belong to the Ring of Water now. As I see, you bear our secret sign, the Aquamarine Ring, and I see in your eyes that you speak the truth. Very well, I shall accept your entrance into our ranks, but bear in mind that this comes with a great responsibility, and I hope for your sake that you'll do it justice. There. And now, step aside. has been put back together. Since you brought us the necessary fragments, you should also set them into the portal. Go to Satyrus and let him give you the reassembled ring. Hopefully the portal will then open. Hey! Give me the ring. I shall open the portal. Good. As a new member, you should be granted this honor. However, I'm still waiting for a message from Vatras. Until I receive it, we cannot go. I have a message from Vatras for you. Very interesting. All right, here, take the ring. We shall gather at the portal 
and wait for you. If Nefarious is right, the portal will open as soon as you insert the ring there. Wait a minute. What now? What are you waiting for? Go, and get out of our way. Nothing to plunder. What with? Nothing there. Nothing to plunder. Nothing to be had there.
Adenos be thanked. You are finally here. We thought you would not show up again. What? How are you already here? You went through the portal and we followed you. It did not take long before we arrived here. However, you were not there. We have been here for several days. Several days? How can that be? After we could not find you anywhere, Nefarious sought to ascertain what might have gone wrong. He seemed to be thoroughly baffled until now. Well, now you are here and can begin your work. What happened in the meantime? We have collected many new insights. The earthquakes do indeed appear to be stronger here. We are not very far from their center now. The builders of these old structures erected a city here in their day. So much we can already say. However, for some reason their culture came to an end. But so far, we can only speculate as to why. What about Raven? In his letter, Raven spoke of a temple and that he was trying to get inside. We are unanimously of the opinion that it is a temple of Adonos that Raven seeks to desecrate. The earthquakes are obviously the result of unholy incantations, which keep colliding with a powerful spell. The gates of the temple are magically sealed, and this is the very magic that makes the stone sentinels arise. The temple is defending itself. We must stop Raven before he can penetrate into the Holy of Holies. What does Raven want in the temple? We only know that it has to do with a powerful artifact that is somehow connected to Adonos and Beliar. We can certainly assume that he is not up to anything good. Raven is only a former ore baron, not a magician. How can he carry out an invocation like that? Perhaps it is not he himself, but rather a renegade magician in his pay. One way or another, we must avert the evil. What happens next? We shall remain here and continue studying the ancient culture. The old scripts of the builders conceal a great many secrets which we must reveal, if we want to understand what happened here back then. Meanwhile, you must do a few things for us. What should I do? You must find Raven and prevent him from desecrating the Temple of Adonos. You mean I should kill him? If that is the only way to stop him, then in Adonos' name, yes. On your way, collect all the ancient relics and inscriptions of the builders you can find and bring them to us. We must know more about these people and their demise. Only when we see through Raven's plans can we thwart them. Furthermore, you must find a way to free the slaves. Is that all? I could do that left-handed. I know that it is much to ask. Regard it as a chance to regain my trust. Have you found a trace of the missing people? Only yesterday we found the body of a fisherman. He was lying under one of the ruins to the east. It looks as though the fisherman was from Corinus. You should look into this. I'll get going then. One more thing. Raven has gathered a large number of bandits about him. In your absence, we have fetched another member of the Ring of Water here. We sent him into the swamp. He did not come back. We suspect that the bandits attack everyone who does not look as they do. So, acquire some of the bandits' armor. That is the only way you'll get close to them without being attacked right away. Hey, you! Nice to see you. We feared the worst. It wasn't all that bad. How's it going? This is a very dangerous region here. 
Some of the animals in the area have never been seen by anyone before us. Close by, there is a large swamp that managed to grow for several hundred years without anyone noticing. Not a day goes by that we aren't attacked by beasts from the swamp. I advise you to be careful if you go for a stroll here. Is there anything new about the stone sentinels? We have already managed to eliminate some of them. They stand there, paralyzed like pillars of salt, and don't budge. But appearances deceive. If you get too close, they'll attack you. There's no doubt that the source of their power can be found here somewhere. Let's deal. Hey, I'm tremendously relieved to see that you have arrived here unscathed. How is it that you arrived here before me? We traveled through a curious dimension. Who knows what detours you took. And now, can I use the portal again? We came here directly. It obviously works quite well. Of course, I'll let you know if I have the suspicion that it could be otherwise. What have you done here up to now? I'm studying the history of the Builders, and I'm trying to understand why they closed the portal. It looks very much as though they wanted to hide the sunken city from the rest of the world. Terrible things happened here many years ago. They were seized by something awful. There was a dreadful civil war shortly before the downfall of the city, if their records can be believed. The streets were in flames and a flood which devoured everything ultimately sealed the fate of the Builders. The few who survived the Inferno closed this part of the island in the hope of locking up the chaos. Did you say that there was a flood? Adonos himself appeared to them to end the madness. He raised the city to the ground. What made the Builders so agitated? One of their own devoted himself to evil. He was a great commander named Quahodron. Returning from a successful battle outside the protecting walls of the city, he brought the evil with him. All of his followers fell to the madness a short time later and began to battle with the common folk. The civil war that followed reduced everything to rubble. And we fools have reopened the portal. I'm not happy about that either, believe you me. But what choice did we have? If we cannot stop what is happening here, then Corinus will suffer exactly the same fate that once befell the builders of this ancient city. What do you think we will find here? I can only speculate about that. You should talk to Satyrus. He has a certain idea. The trip through this portal is safe? I haven't had any reservations so far. Can you impart your knowledge of magic to me? I can instruct you in the creation of runes, and Kronos can sell you the formulas for them. He always has his rune books with him.
Any new findings? The builders of these ruins fascinate me. It is just too bad that their language is as dead as they are. Even their mighty rituals and summonings could not save them. Summonings? The builders had a strong connection to the spirit world. If I have understood correctly, they believe they were in constant contact with their ancestors. They held regular summonings and rituals to ask the spirits for advice or to gain enlightenment. The undead that I know never had much to say. The builders did not create soulless undead such as zombies or other evil creatures. These spirits were the souls of great warriors, priests, and rulers. So far, I have no doubt that they really exist. How did these spirit summonings work? The guardians of the dead had their special formulas they used to pacify the spirits. The descriptions I could find here, however, are in part very confusing. Only rarely do I get a clear answer to my questions. If I see a spirit, I'll let you know. <laughs> yes, I insist on it. Teach me that language. We'll start with something easy. To begin with, I can teach you the language of the peasants. As a rule, texts written in the language of the peasants deal with worldly matters such as work, love, or obtaining food. It was the common language of the city. You will be able to understand most of the text found here if you know it. Go and test your new knowledge. You will see that the scriptures of the builders are no longer an unsolvable mystery for you. Hey! How's it going? Listen, curious, don't you think? Mm. These teleporter stones don't appear to function, and yet you can hear them hum. Although they aren't active, a certain energy rests in them nevertheless. What do you think needs to be done to activate them? I have an idea about that. I just need proof for my suspicion. I had a feeling days ago that I had seen this sort of construction somewhere before. I suspect that we have to supply them with a damn large amount of magical energy to get them back into service. What could provide enough magical energy? I can only think of one thing. A magical focus. I mean, one of the five focus stones that were used to create the magical barrier in the Valley of the Mines. As far as I know, you had to get them back for us a while ago. Yes, I can remember. Where are the focus stones now? They were entrusted to me. I am supposed to keep them safe until we find another use for them. The way it looks, the time is ripe now. You said you need proof for your suspicion. A magical focus should be connected to these stones, but I don't know where. Where have you seen these teleporter stones before? You were in the penal colony too. Didn't you ever notice those stones? I am quite sure that they still can be found there today. How do these teleporter stones get their power? The builders were a very highly developed people. They used properties of magic that we have never seen. A network of teleporter stones was built so the builders could move quickly from one place in the city to another. The stones here obviously form a kind of center. I've heard enough. Give me a focus stone. I will try to get the teleporters to work. All right, but be careful with it, you hear? Satyrus will have my head if we lose them. Can you teach me your magic skills? I can show you how to increase your magic power. I want to increase my magic power. Hey, you! Did you expect this here? Not at all. I'm awestruck at how large the city must have been. Most of the buildings were buried under stone and earth, but the ruins that have survived the ages are spread all over the land. There must have been thousands living here. What will I find out there? In the east, there's a large fortress in a gigantic swamp. As far as we can judge from here, the bandits have taken refuge there. If I were you, I wouldn't go down there. They've set up many outposts and guards. You'd better avoid the swamp until you have more experience or find a way to go around the bandits. 
In the West, we have discovered some pirates. I'm not sure, but I believe they have also discovered us. They don't seem too perturbed by our presence, though. Tell me more about the area. What do you want to know? Can you teach me your skills? I can instruct you in the art of alchemy. 